Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're doing some more science. And so I see our question again here asks, is the chemical equation below balanced? I would remind you guys that balanced means that we have the same number of atoms of each element on both sides. of the equation so the reactants have the same basically we have the same same ingredients going in that come out okay so i got a left hand side of this equation and a right hand side and we can see we have this molecule and this molecule going in and we've got this molecule and two of those coming out okay and if this language isn't making a lot of sense to you you probably want to go back and check out the last two videos we did on this because I'm going to just uh, solve this one as if you uh, have seen the last two. So let's take a look. Um, we are going to need to count the atoms on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So the first atom I see is a C. Remembering that each capital letter represents the start of a new element, C is capital, and C is the element carbon. You don't need to know that, but you do need to be able to count how many carbons we have. Notice, no subscript, no number down below. No coefficient, no number multiplying out in front. Always assume one when you don't see a number, and so we just have one little uh, atom of carbon. Now let's take a look at hydrogen. Hydrogen, although again, there's no number out front, signifying that I just have one of these molecules, I do have a subscript on hydrogen. There's this little floating four down there, meaning that it takes four hydrogen paired with a carbon to make this element. And so I do have four atoms of hydrogen. And I also have some oxygen here, some O's. How many oxygen do I have? Just two. There, it was super simple to count this side because I didn't have any multipliers out in front that tell me a number of molecules, so I'm just simply counting atoms. Now let's go to look at the other side. Now I can see here I have a carbon. Again, no number in front, no number there, assume one. Oxygen is also super easy to count. I can see that I have two oxygen atoms happening. Uh, just that one time because there's no number in front. So that's just to straightforward two oxygen atoms. Okay, now, but look at this side over here. So that was the first uh, element in my formula. The second element that we have is water, H2O. But notice that I have, I shouldn't say element, I'm sorry, the second uh, molecule type uh, is water. But, um, each one of the individual letters are elements. That's why I misspoke. But the entire formula is for, or this entire thing here, H2O. H2O is a molecule, water, a water molecule that's made up of three atoms, an oxygen atom and two hydrogen. Sorry. So now that I've clarified my speech here, I have two molecules of um, this water here. And we can look at the first one is hydrogen. So I've got two atoms of hydrogen happening two times since I have two molecules of water. So two times two is four. So I have four hydrogens. And so far, it looks like everything on the left-hand side is matching up to the right-hand side. But notice this other element within this same molecule here. Here, I have oxygen happening again. Um, no number here signifies that it's just a one, no number for my subscript. But since I have two molecules of this water, I'm seeing that one oxygen on two different occasions. Two times one is two. So what I have here is another two atoms of oxygen for a total of four. So now take a look. I have one atom of carbon on the left, one on the right. I have um, four atoms of hydrogen on the left, four on the right. But on the left hand side, I actually have two uh, total oxygen atoms. Whereas on the right hand side, I ended up with four total oxygen atoms. This equation is not balanced. If you find any element that has a different number of atoms, your equation is not balanced.
Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, make sure you drop it in the comments.